Right now, you've heard me bash on about this. If you've seen me in any other video, any podcast or anything, you've heard me bash on about this far too much. I do not like Fallout. I don't like Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, New Vegas 4. Don't like it. Not a fan. And I feel bad about it. I feel slightly bad about it because it is something that should appeal to me. Like, it's a massive open world game. It's full of fun stuff. It's like, it's stylized really well. Not knocking the whole Americana 50s thing because that is very cool. And I felt like if I enjoyed the games, maybe I would be like, whoa, hey, look at the Mr. Pipman. Cool. Rock on, Mr. Pipman. You do you. But no, I don't because I don't like it. And my justification is purely, I really, I just can't get into it. I can't access it. I don't feel at home in this world. And I know you're not supposed to because you're like sorting out a wasteland and you're having a little roam around and having a little mess with everything. But I just think it is an abrasive sort of game. I I don't feel the emotional connection to it that I do with other Bethesda games like, (laughs) excuse me, like, Elder Scrolls, obviously. I feel like because it's the same engine, you either like one or the other, which is a broad statement to say, but Elder Scrolls is just so much better. And every time I play Fallout, I I think, why am I not playing Elder Scrolls instead? I much prefer that to this empty brown and grey and green wasteland of nothingness. And the factions aren't that fun and I just I just don't enjoy it. And please be kind to me (laughs) because I know it's uh, I know it is a fantastic game, but not for me. It, it's got to be, and it took me a little while uh, for this, it's got to be Diablo 3. And I'm sorry, Rach, but I, I've tried so many times to get on board with Diablo 3. I bought it back at launch, and then I bought it when all the DLC came out for it, and then it was like re-released on PS4, and then they've just done the new Ultimate Chaos, whatever it is, edition. And I try it again, and every single time, I get like 10 minutes into it, and I just think it's the most shallow thing. Like, I hate the loot grind in it. It means that you can't have any sort of loadouts, or you can't spec towards anything whatsoever, because you're swapping your loadout every like five minutes. I hate the combat, because all you do is just mash buttons to try and get through it. It's not even, it doesn't look very good. Like graphically, it just looks like something from 10 years ago, which I'm not that bothered about the graphics, but it does look very blocky and ugly. And then all the stuff in terms of the way that you play it, like, yeah, you've got some super abilities or whatever, but they're not really that fun to bust out. You can do a bigger ax cleave, which might send a guy flying more. It's just a lot of spamming. It's just spamming the game. And I I really don't like it. And I think I'm, I doubly don't like it because it's such a big deal. And Rach is having a breakdown, but this is the truth you need to hear. Diablo is is not good. And I don't even care that they're doing Diablo Immortal. I don't want any more Diablo. So, done. (laughs) Here's the thing, Rich. I used to love Assassin's Creed. I used to love, love, love Assassin's Creed. Played the heck out of one, even though it was quite flawed. Love 2, love Brotherhood. Even Revelations was all right. And then Assassin's Creed 3 came around. It was the first numbered Assassin's Creed title in a long time. It had a new setting, it had a new character. It looked lush. And it was so disappointing. This is a game I hate, not because it's necessarily completely bad. And there are a lot of people who love Assassin's Creed 3, even though it kind of was a turning point for the entire franchise. And I fully understand it because just being in that world and jumping around trees and uh, even the story from a conceptual level is great. It's just that goddamn story when you got into the campaign missions was so bad and so trite and so uninspired it did not live up to the bloody potential it could have had this was supposed to be assassin's creed's next big foray into like not next gen but certainly a step up and it did not feel that way it felt like all the added was the ability to run into trees and don't get me wrong rich you know i'm a guy who loves running into loads of trees and climbing trees it's what i do every single weekend when i'm not putting hairspray all over my body but this just it didn't cut it and it was so frustrating because on the one heart you had this really genuinely great beautiful open world that was unlike anything else at the time and it was so mechanically sound and it was so great to lose yourself and it was almost it kind of was a was a not foreboding but it was sort of um a preemptive of it was sort of preemptive of the rpg elements that would later come in in kind of uh, origins and odyssey it wasn't quite there but it was lovely to just be in this world enjoy it, run with, run with the squirrels across trees, like I said, but the story just dragged it down so much, and I'm going to give it another go when it's remastered, but I cannot get over the crippling disappointment I felt playing that game and being torn between those two halves, and that's why I hate it. I feel really sorry for Rach today. 
because <laughs> Rach's favourite games are getting a lot of shit today. Yeah. Because... So I'm going to stop you, though, is it? For, for part two of this video... Oh, yeah, there's a part two. Oh, it was easy for me to choose, but for a great game that I'm not... That I don't like... It's Dark Souls 1. And... What? And that is because... Well... My first foray into the Dark Souls universe wasn't even with a game, it was playing the Dark Souls board game with Scott and Jules. Yes. And the card game, and I was like, this all just sounds really cool, all the creatures sound cool, and then the remaster was announced, and I was like, Do you know what, I'm going to get the remaster for PS4. So I got it, like, when it came out, and I've just been trying to play it, and I just can't. And it is, it is basically because I need to get good, I get that, but... You know, Rachel was telling me, once you've done the asylum bit, that was fine, I got through that no problem. And then you have to like traverse these rooftops and things. And it's like, this is the most unwelcoming game. And I mean, I went into that knowing that was the case. I knew it was going to be hard. But just how much it dicks on you in the first hour, I'm just thinking, I can, I, I, I appreciate people who like these games so much more now, Rach. I love you. It's great. You You're amazing at Dark Souls and stuff, but it's just absolutely not for me. How far did you get before you were like, oh God, F this? Um, did you get dicked on by the dragon? No, no, no. I, I, I preempted the dragon bit. I'd heard okay. about I'd heard about the dragon. Yes. I got to this, because it's like a long walkway, isn't it? And you yes. walk along it and you go, hang on a minute. Back pedal, back pedal, dragon! And it's like, I got, I got past that bit. That was fine. It's, it, there's a point when you come up some stairs and there's like two or three guys, like, like two enemies, one of them's hiding behind a load of rubble and then there's a guy on the roof firing crossbows at you. And then you have to sort of traverse that, go across like a diagonal bridge and then people start throwing things at you. And I'm just like, this is where the game really got on my nerves. It's like, you, you learn where the enemies are, but their attack patterns still seem random every time you play and it's, it infuriates me the more and more I do it. So I do find myself going back to it and thinking, do you know what, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And I jump in, play the first, like get to it the first time and go, yep, yeah, okay, this is, let's refresh my memory, this is what's happening, get there again, everything's different. I'm like, oh, for Christ's sake. Try it three times and just think, I, I want to play this, but I just can't. And I'm sad about it, but... <sighs> not that sad, bitch. No, obviously not that sad. I'm sorry, Rage. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of my broken heart. <laughs> okay, so I um, suffer from chronic, I love everything disease. I literally find it really hard to poop on anything. If I am doing it, chances are I'm sort of just thinking, oh, think of something bad to say um, so that people think I'm cool and I have like bad opinions. Um, but no, like I, there's been games that I have tried. I used to work in a game store. I got the chance to try a lot of different games, like games where I would never normally like get to the point of buying them and playing them enough to hate them because I kind of got to try them. So games that I would never expect to like, like for mostly first person shooters. And that's the weirdest thing ever because I grew up, I had a uh, an original Xbox, I played Halo and Halo 2. Oh my god, I loved Halo 2. Um, but then sort of just something just sort of snapped and now I just don't love first person shooters anymore. So Call of Duty and that is all wasted on me. So I'm sort of struggling with this one, but I'm gonna settle with one because um, I mean, I gotta pick one. I can't get out of it. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna pick one, but I'm also gonna cheat and I'm gonna say the, the, the Destiny, the two Destiny games is what I'm gonna go with because I did buy both of them. <laughs> so after making the mistake, buying the first one, playing it for a little bit, playing the story? <laughs> okay, so with Destiny 1, I, I got it, got a real good deal with it. That game store discount was lovely. And uh, played it with my friends. They'd been playing it for a lot longer than me. I sort of walked in when the Taken King came out. And if you know your Destiny, you'll know that came out. I think it was about a year after launch. So people were already geared to the teeth in light. They were all sparkly. They looked wonderful and I looked rubbish. Um, but I just didn't like the game because of how that game is so focused on teamwork. And it's such an MMO. It is an MMO. It is, right? First person shooter, MMO. Well, third, is it third person? I can't even, I've blotted it from my mind. It's, it is first person, isn't it? And then the second one, for some reason, fell into the trap again. Thought I might enjoy this with my friends. And I didn't, and it was stupid, and it was a waste of 40 quid. I think why I ended up buying Destiny 2, why Destiny 1, why I gave it a chance is because I love MMOs. I love World of Warcraft. I loved Diablo 3, still do. I realize I'm talking in the past tense. I love these games. 
why don't I like Destiny? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I just don't think they are great games. And I'm sorry, but I think I do really quite hate Destiny. And that's a big thing for me, admitting that I hate something. And I need a minute to sort of let that sink in. So do I have to, are you making me do this? Cause I'm actually, I don't want to get letter bombed or like threatened with Deep death. Deep down, you've been wanting to say this for years. <sighs> just get it out the way. All right, Scott, I know you're there with a the weapon, but yep. no amount of prodding will force me to do this. I what swear to God. I mean, I, I, I will. I, you answered the stick, <sighs> I, can't, I don't think Uncharted's that good. Oh! Right, I, I didn't have a PlayStation 3, I had an Xbox 360. And like, I I got the remastered thing for the PlayStation 4 because I heard so many good things. And when the games were out, I was really jealous. I was like, oh, good. Uncharted 2, that looks really good. The train thing looked brilliant. I played the first one. Generic third person cover based shooter with a plot ripped off straight from Indiana Jones. Fair enough. Uh, random, what's with the supernatural stuff halfway through as well? well I can't just... defend that, I mean, that's actually bad, but carry on. Yeah, and then Uncharted 2, same thing, but uh, the random generic Russian antagonist at the end, really. And Uncharted 3, all the stuff where you played as a young Nathan Dre, I don't care about that. No one cares about that. And. I love Uncharted 4. Uncharted 4 is amazing. Oh, no, one's, no, one's, no one's denying Uncharted 4 is it's fantastic, but... Everything before that? Everything? The it's... vast majority... I'm not even gonna... The vast majority of 2 is like a masterpiece, though. Mm. I'll give you the blue lines at the mm. end. Mm. The cheese, though. Mm. The cheese. Good cheese. It's good cheese. If I wanted sure, that. that cheese, yes. I could get that from Indiana Jones. Yeah. And if I wanted a really good third-person shooter, I could play Gears of War. Well, not for 10 years, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, see the thing is, I'm a huge Dark Souls fan. I love Dark Souls 1, I love Dark Souls 3. There's something in the middle that I don't like as much. And that is Dark Souls 2, which I think is kind of stinky. Mainly because of the fact that it comes down to Ross trying to lift that sofa up the stairs. Pivot! 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 Because enemies pretty much have a lock-on thing where uh, even if you're running around them, they'll just go, no, I'm gonna turn around and just bash you in the skull. It's awful. I see you shaking your head there, Rage, but I'd, I'd like to counter your shaking head with hard evidence. Because if you go online and you type in, are the enemies in Dark Souls 2 broken? I suggest you do it now. You'll find loads of videos claiming that they are. They had to put patch, they tried to patch them in the score of the first sin. Didn't bloody work, they just added more of them. I like Scholar of the First Sin though. Don't know why, but I just, I, I think that the, the remix of enemies and challenges is actually better. I wish that that was the first game that came out, but there's just not, the storytelling isn't as good. You can tell that the original developers and uh, storytellers weren't working on this one. It felt very much like a more mainstream approach to a game that is very anti-mainstream. And for that reason, it baffled me so much when I saw game reviewers giving it great score, saying it was perfect. It, it ain't perfect by any stretch and the bloody poise when you poke people and no one gets stunned. Like if I'm stabbing something, I want to get some feedback off it. <sighs> I'm angry now, I'm real angry. Cool, this is a good way to end the work day, isn't it? Fantastic. So yeah, I hate Dark Souls too. It's bad, it's real. Like there, there were so many times where I like would run around enemies and dive and know that I was outside of the hitbox and you would still like see your life bar go down or like a fraction of it and it was like, oh, it's because you actually dive but you were in a, in a hitbox window that is only open if the, if the, if the ability uh, or agility skill isn't high. I was like, fuck off, just go fucking suck a dick. Just, just fucking, mm, just don't try it. <laughs> <laughs>